My name is Omar Badu, responsible for the WMO Climate System Monitoring. The WMO Decade Report complements the annual statement of the status of the global climate. It gives a snapshot of much longer term behavior of the climate system. Several factors due to natural climate variability explain the year-to-year -year variations such as the Nino and La Nina events, which respectively either contribute to global temperature increase or cooling. Taking a decade as a time unit allows us to capture the slowly changing aspect of the climate system, like temperature, trends, precipitation, sea ice, snow cover, sea level rise, and climate extremes. The global temperature recorded a pronounced increase during the past four decades. 2001-2010 was also the warmest globally as well as for land and ocean taken separately. The decade was the warmest for a large majority of countries. The largest temperature increase was recorded particularly in northern countries where temperatures were about 1 degree centigrade above the average. Greenland was 1.7 degrees centigrade, warmer than the long-term average. On the precipitation side, average precipitation of the globe was the second highest on record, with devastating flooding in some places of the world. The Arctic sea ice recorded unprecedented low level of extents at the end of the melting season, which usually occurs in September. The ice sheets in Greenland and Antarctica have seen an accelerated loss of net mass. Similarly, the world glacier lost more mass in the decade than any other previous decade since records began in 1945. In parallel with these physical changes in the state of the climate during the decade, greenhouse gases increased substantially, reaching a maximum concentration in 2010. This is true for the three major greenhouse gases, CO2, methane, and nitrous oxide. The world experienced unusual or even unprecedented climate extremes in 2001 to 2010. This included many heat waves with high impact on human lives. Europe in 2003 and the Russian Federation in 2010 both suffered two exceptional heat waves with a total of more than 100,000 deaths. In addition to heat waves, the world suffered as well many flood events in the course of the decade. The two most notable were recorded in 2010. In Pakistan, more than 20 million people were affected and thousands killed, whilst Australia recorded one of its worst flooding in modern history. The Northern Atlantic Basin had its most active decade in terms of tropical cyclone activity and related impacts. Hurricane Katrina was the costliest hurricane in the history of the United States. Analysis of the data indicates that climate change has reshaped the behavior of climate extremes. This is particularly evident in record-breaking daily temperatures, which are associated with the increased frequency and intensity of heat waves. In terms of precipitation records, most countries broke national 24-hour precipitation during the past two decades. How to link this extreme with climate change? Numerical climate models are being used to further investigate the physical basis of this linkage by looking at individual extremes and the influence of increased greenhouse concentrations in the atmosphere. For example, that the European heat wave in 2003 was so intense that it would have very unlikely happened naturally.